who I am. And then for them to know that, you know, that I have 15 workers and I'm, I still go to the Swami, you know? So for some of them, they're like, oh my God, I don't think she even, you know, she's the owner. I don't even think, why is she here? So a lot of people still question that. And yeah. it's sad because I do it because I do it for my kids. And hay gente que le dice a, a mi mamá, like, oiga, ¿por qué su hija todavía va al Swami? O tengo, tengo un compadre que mi, toda mi familia vende todavía en el Swami. Tengo un compadre que vende um, furniture, vende muebles. Y le preguntan, oiga, ¿por qué su compadre viene al Swami? ¡Qué muerta de hambre! <risa> 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 o sea, ¿por qué nunca le puedes dar, nunca le vas a dar placer a la gente? Siempre van a tener. Si vas a Sami, que qué muerta de hambre, y si no vas, ya se le subió. Entonces es una balanza súper difícil. I mean, si dependes de los demás, entonces nunca vas a salir sí, adelante. Sí, es difícil. Porque... Es difícil porque muchas de las veces, en vez de que esa gente que sabe de dónde viniste y todo lo que te costó, porque la gente del Sami, pues sabe que andaba con mis tres chiquillos en el Sami. Había mi niña, la, la del medio, le daba puro pecho y estaba con una mano dándole pecho y con otra estaba poniendo los perfumes y sacando. O sea, no fue, no fue fácil. Entonces, me da tristeza de que to see that they don't, they, like, they don't, they don't appreciate, like, they don't, they don't say, like, oh, that's good for her, you So, know? what's the difference between you and them? You know what? That I work for it. You know, that nunca me dio miedo. I always, I always tell my husband, like, what do you think was, what's the, what's the key? Do you think it was luck or you think it was something that I could never say no, like, Sabía que tal vez no podía, and I was scared to do it, but I was like, no, I'm, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. And it was just like, I think that was the trick. My, my husband is like, es que siempre fui bien aventada. So siempre, siempre, nunca decía, nunca pensaba que I was going to fail. I always knew that I was going to be something better. So is that the difference? I think that's, that's what no it luck? is. I don't think it was the luck. Because, I mean, like, there's people that are lucky that they might get, you know, they might hit the lottery. Pero, I know I love to watch shows, but at the end of the year, it's like a couple of years pass, y se vuelven pobres. La mayoría de los ricos que ganan, que ganan así, right. no, no siguen siendo millonarios. Right. Now, sometimes, I think I heard a story about you, but I wanted to hear directly from you, directamente de ti. A ver. What happened in Swap Meet? I think somebody recognized you and, and asked you, are you the girl... <laughs> How is that story? Yeah. Uh, I have a blogger, um, and she's really famous, and she took a picture of her. Uh, she took a picture of both of us. Tuvimos un evento, y, y se tomó una foto. So, lo subió a, 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 su, a su teléfono, a su Instagram. Y llega una pareja al Swami, y ellos han sido mis clientes por mucho tiempo. Y me dice, oye, muchacha, ¿te puedo preguntar una pregunta? And I'm like, yeah. Y me dice, ¿tú eres la de la foto? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> Entonces... Como que la gente no, no, no cree, como, ¿qué está haciendo aquí? ¿Qué haces tú ahí? ¿Qué, hace, ¿Qué hago ahí? ¿Y un señor alguna vez te reconoció en el sentido sí, de que eras la niñita que andaba sí. sin zapatos? ¿Cómo es eso? Tengo, tengo un cliente que, es, me acuerdo que iba al Santa Fe, al Swami de Santa Fe Springs, y pusieron como charco. So, todo el piso tiene charco. So, siempre, el, during the summer, it was like, our, our, like, we were really busy. Siempre andaba con sandalias. Y siempre traía los pies sucios. Siempre, siempre traía los pies sucios. Oh. Y siempre me hacía la burla. Siempre trae las patas sucias. Y ahora me ve y me dice, pues, que traigo zapatos de mar. Que me dice, hoy oh, ya te olvidaron las patas sucias y tus sandalas de adola. <risa> That's increíble. Sí. Bueno, entonces estabas vendiendo perfumes. Ajá, perfumes. Y, ¿Y cómo empiezas a entrar a la industria de los cosméticos? Porque hay un salto allí, ¿no? Un sí. cambio. ¿Cómo sí. fue? Empezamos vendiendo um, cosméticos, pero yo siempre he renovado. Siempre me ha gustado ver qué es lo nuevo que está saliendo. ¿Y por qué cosméticos? ¿Por qué no, qué sé yo, zapatos? Empezamos o... con una línea de, 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 de um, planchas para el pelo. O sea, al principio empezamos a hacer planchas para el pelo. Vendíamos otras marcas. Okay. Y una vez decidimos hacer nuestra propia marca. Entonces empezamos con las planchas y mi esposo quería abrir una tienda. Pero le dije a mi esposo, ¿cómo vamos a abrir una tienda con puras planchas para el pelo? Entonces empezamos a vender cosméticos de otras marcas. Oh, ok. Entonces, so the first step was to open store. Yeah, we opened and, the store. Yeah, we opened the store. And then after the store, we just started selling cosmetics. So it was a, a, a brick and mortar store. Outside of the swap meet. Outside of the store. So For it was me, a second business. Also. Yeah. Pero Branching a mí me daba out. mucho miedo. Me daba mucho miedo porque la renta era súper cara. So I was like, del, del swami a una tienda, para mí era súper difícil. Porque le decía a mi esposo, creo que la renta eran como 4,500. 
Y me decía, me, le decía a mi esposo, ¿cómo vamos a pagar eso? <risa> I'm like, ni siquiera de nuestra casa pagamos tanto. Entonces, a mí la verdad yo tenía Where mucho miedo. En el centro de Los Ángeles y todavía la tenemos. Oh, right. Todavía la tenemos, pero ahora abrimos una, oh, ahora tenemos dos. Entonces, ahorita acabo de venir de ella y le digo a mi marido, wow, o sea, ¿cómo hemos crecido? O sea, oh my God, I'm like, so, no me la creo. So, you went to store. Yeah. You opened a store. What happened the next day? ¿Cuánto te tomó para tener éxito en la tienda? En la tienda nos tomó mucho tiempo porque aunque teníamos la tienda, seguíamos yendo al Swami. So, nunca dejamos casi el Swami. Íbamos a la tienda y teníamos a una mucha que nos ayudaba y nosotros seguíamos en el Swami. Y al principio vendíamos bien poquito. Yo decía, ay, no vamos a sacar la renta de este mes. No la vamos a sacar. You? Did you? The first Pero month? no, gracias a Dios, sí, la sacamos. Oh, get... La sacamos. <risa> uh, y ya después yo me empecé a ir para allá. Y yo creo que, te, no sé, tengo un carácter como que a la gente le gusta, le gusta mi carácter. Y me encanta vender. Yeah. Soy muy buena para vender. Uh, y la güera, la güera que vende. Sí. No, y mi marido me dice, es que tú... Tú yo no sé qué haces, <risa> porque la gente me sigue mucho, gracias a Dios que, que me siguen mucho. Um, y la gente ya me buscaba, oh, quiero que la gorita me tienda, porque lo que ella me dice que se vende es lo que se vende. Right. Entonces la gente me seguía so mucho. So you were wholesale? Yeah, we were doing wholesale. Okay. We were doing wholesale. Y ya después, pues ya tuve toda la experiencia de ver qué es lo que se vendía en el cosmético, porque no tenemos la experiencia. O sea, nada más empezamos a vender marcas de otras marcas. Did you go to business school or something? No, nunca fui a la escuela. You had a mentor, business mentor, somebody that told you or you know, show you how at, to do things. At one point of the business we did, but I think we were at that point on where it was too much. Like it was too much for her to even handle our business. I see. So it was just too, too, too much of as a business for her to to mentor me. But it helped a lot. I learned a lot of things. But I think, I think just my team, like, you know, the people that are there, like my family, my husband, my mom, everyone, all my family works with me. So like, for example, my, my, my accountant, it's my brother, my manager is my sister. So all my family works for me. And then my husband helps me with store. So he's the one in charge of the store. So it's, it's just so much. Why? How come just the family? No, I still have other, uh, I still have other employees, but I just feel like the family, well, for ex in my case, I don't know, I just feel like my family is always willing to go that extra mile, you know, so sometimes right. it's just like, you know, there's, tr they're, they're, they're there, and, and I don't know, it feels good, because, like, the other day, I don't know, my brothers, they were like, oh my God, Esme, like, we're so proud of you, so, I don't know, I, I think, I think they just do it, because they've seen everything that, That we have worked for. So what happened the second month, the, the third month? It the was store? at the beginning. It was really, really, really hard because we didn't have like the customers. So everyone had customers already, and then not only that, like most of the the, the people that were selling there, it was only Koreans. We were casi, I think we were like the only Mexican ones in that in esa calle. So it was like all the all those businesses were were run by by Korean. So al principio como que incluso when we started our own brand, mi marido iba a ofrecer a los coreanos y le decía, no, 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 we want invoice. O so como que creían que el producto era robado. Right, right, right. So it fue súper difícil. Okay, so how do you jump from selling perfumes again uh -huh. to cosmetics from the production point of view? So... I mean, where do you get the the cosmetics? Because I know where to get perfumes, yeah, yeah, but yeah. what about the cosmetics? Because it's a totally different industry, actually. Yeah, it's super different. And then not only that, it's another world. I How? just see it like it's another world. It's right. another mm -hmm. world that you walk into. Because right now with Instagram, that that's our like our biggest platform for us as a business. It's it's all about Instagram, social media. So it's really hard because people, you know, they, they see you as a certain way. So at the beginning, it was super hard. And right now, I think it's getting harder because there's so many new brands coming up. And it's hard because, you know, people are trying to compete with the prices. So it's not easy. I mean, like the business, it's hard. And it, I, I see people and they send me messages like, how do you do it as my, you know, like, what is it? Sometimes let me, t I'm going to be honest. There's days that I just want to cry. Like, I just want to be home and just stay there because I'm just, like, frustrated and I'm, like, I can't do it anymore. Like, for example, um, for Black Friday, we had so many sales and we were ready for Black Friday, but we never thought we were going to have the success that we had. So I just hired four new girls 
And I was ready to just sit and cry. I was like, I cannot do this. It was just that we had so many orders. So no one is ready to do it. Even I think if you go to school, because, you know, I, I feel like people go to school to learn. But I don't even think school is going to tell you you're going to get used to this or you're going to face this. I don't think there's a school that you can go to that is going to teach you how to run a business. Right. Now, that's a good problem to have. To have that's so a many, good problem. That yeah, is. Isn't it? Now, the question was, okay. Let's say I want to launch my beauty line. Okay. Okay. Let, so I, how do you I, I, find I, the so right from, vendor? The how how do you establish so it? So from so from the selling the hair strainers that were selling another another brand um of hair strainers, I found someone and there he I was at the Swami and then the guy was like, hey, um, would you like to do your own brand of hair strainers? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, well, I'm, I have to charge you a certain percent, but. You know, I'm good. I, I used to live in China for seven years. So that's how we started. So the first time that I started, I went to China for 15 days. I had had my son. Yo que mi bebé tenía como dos meses de nacido. Oh, wow. So lo dejé y me fui a China. Y empezamos a hacer planchas para el pelo. Pero la experiencia que tuve no, no. Where do you get the capital from? La verdad, todos me prestaron. <laughs> <laughs> so family and friends? Yeah. Nosotros teníamos, un, teníamos savings. Porque pues siempre hemos vendido de todo. Hemos vendido disfraces, sandalias. ¿Qué no hemos vendido? Hemos vendido de todo. Ah, uh, eso teníamos un morado, pero mi familia me ayudó mucho. Mi padre no me prestó. Ah, uh, mi tía me prestó. Entonces, la verdad que yo creo que es, es algo que la verdad todos me ayudaron. Right. So ahora que me ven creciendo y que dijeron, wow, les pagué. Of course. Of course, you paid them <laughs> yeah, back. I, I paid them going back. To ask you. I paid them back. Um, <laughs> uh, and I don't know. I think now that they see me, they were like, oh my gosh, she did it. Like, ahorita que fueron, pues que acabamos de comprar la nueva casa, como que ahora están como, oh my God. So, después de, de, de haberme ido a China, y empezamos, abrimos la tienda y empezamos a vender cosmético, yo regresé a China. So, en, en China... How do you decide what kind of cosmetics? I and was, where? And the who? thing is that, you know what? I always, I don't know, I think it's, I think it's my vibe, or I don't know, I'm, people, well, I, I just, I don't know, I think... I think it's, I don't know if it's me, but a lot of people try to help me. And that's one of the things that it's different from our culture, that, I don't know, we're Latinos, to the Chinese cultures, you know? Allá los chinos son super, son super um, apegados, se podrá decir, you know? Yeah. So, eh, eh, donde estaba haciendo la plancha me dijo, oh, you know what, my neighbor is doing cosmetics. There's so, a, they help each other. Yeah, they help they each other. community. Yes. And I see us as Latinos, and we don't do that. Like, we see someone growing, and you yeah. want to put them down. Right. And when we started, when we started, my the guy that used to sell the hair strands told me about another cosmetic company. You and were I was in like, China. At the I was time. in China, and then he's like, my neighbor China. sells cosmetics. So fue como empezamos con la niña de cosmético. But that's different. Y cuando estás ahí, ya llega el de las brochas, y llega toda la familia, y los primos, y el tío, y todos <laughs> venden algo. So it, it's nice to see that, because nosotros vendemos algo, y you don't want to tell anyone, you So know? the guy here, the, the guy that used to live in China for seven years, refer you to some places in China, you no, went... so the guy that, that took me to China, el, el que me cobró el porcentaje, sí. me llevó a China y compré las planchas, and that was it. So después yo regresé solo a China. Oh, okay. Yo solita regresé. So the second trip that I did, ya fue cuando ya the other el, el owner de la otra compañía referred me to the cosmetics. And then you said, yeah, I mean, because you had the choice to say no cosmetics, no, but yeah, you yeah. said yes. Why? You know, because we already had we were selling cosmetics at that time oh, already. Already, yeah, okay. we were selling cosmetics, but we weren't selling our brand. We were selling other people's. So brand. you had to pay cash in advance, hundred percent. How, how no, do you work? No, at the beginning we had to pay forty percent of the order. And it was crazy because we didn't have a lot of money. So I was like, oh, my God, should I do this? Should I do that? So at the beginning, it was really hard. And then not only that, because I'm pretty, like, com big companies, my competitions, they were buying by millions. <laughs> and I, I had, like, a little bit of money. So at the beginning, it was really hard. But you know what? Right now that I, I was in China last month, and the owner of the company, of the factory that, that they they mostly they just produce for me, He told me, he's like, you know what? I, the first time that I saw you, I knew you were going to get so, like, somewhere. He told me, like, you were just that person that you were just so hungry, mm -hmm. you know? So I think I, I always had that. Like, I'm always so hungry for more. 
like I can have everything and I think we can do good, but I know we can do more. So, and you are loyal also because you are still working. 